G'day guys, have you ever heard of Global Dynamics United? Well, never had I until just the other day, but they've come out with some aftermarket improvements for the RF 16mm f2.8 and the RF 50mm f1.8. Now those are the entry level, or mid-range I guess you could say, because the RFS lenses are the entry level. So the mid-range RF primes, the 16mm f2.8, which has a fairly dubious reputation, and the RF 50mm f1.8, which nifty 50, it's okay, it's okay. Lacks the character, lacks the character you're probably looking for, but it's okay. Now, this outfit, Global Dynamics United, or GDU, is a company that offers aftermarket improvements or embellishments to camera gear, and in this case, it's the Canon RF 16mm and the RF 50mm, which is in the firing line. What have they done? Well, they basically cover the lens in an aluminium shell. And the idea is to make it more robust and more hard wearing for those lenses. Now, predominantly, I believe, this is a service that's offered for video shooters. Uh, so not much call for it for photographers, bearing in mind that when they put the aluminium shell or the aluminium case on the lens, they actually remove the external controls. Your switches, which change the manual focus ring to the control ring and back, they're gone. You no longer have the use of those. You no longer also have the use of manual focus on the lens. You have to control that from within the camera. And right away to me, I'm thinking, hmm, I don't know if that's so cool to remove the external controls. I mean, I realized that the RF 16mm and the RF 50mm only had the control ring and the one switch to go from autofocus to control ring. But all the same, it's handy to have that there if you choose to use it or you need it. Now, there is no word on their website, which I've got right here, whether or not that the application of this aluminium case onto the lens, aside from making it more robust and more hard wearing, there's no mention whether it makes it weather sealed or weather tight. Because we know that both of those lenses aren't weather sealed. They're not weather tight, they're not weather resistant in any way. I imagine that putting on the aluminum case will give it some more protection against water or weather damage, certainly for dust and dirt and knocks and drops, but not for weather sealing. Nothing I could see on the website. If you know about the GDU or you know about these armored lens cases, let me know down below if they actually make the lens weather seal to offer great protection against the elements. Now I have to say, these GDU armored RF lenses, they look really cool. I mean, they have the inbuilt lens hood there, which is that bright eye-catching red, and they look quite smart, they look good. The finish is really clean and tidy, and they've got big labels on them, so you can see at a glance if you've got the 16 mil or the 50 mil. Bear in mind, they're very similar form factors. So that just makes recognition easier for you. There seems to be no changes to the mount or to the front elements of the lens itself. They're still compatible with all the RF mounts. And yeah, so looking into the website more, it does seem that this is more aimed towards video shooters to offer a more robust hard-wearing solution. Although as to what you might have protecting the camera in those cases, I guess maybe a cage, something along those lines, but you've got a really well protected lens with the aluminum housing and the front hood also bolted on. And they do say that the removal of the external controls is to avoid settings being accidentally changed or knocked being able to retain what you've seen, and particularly when you're using it flying on a drone, or when, <laughs> come on, bolted to the side of a helmet. Oh my gosh, you imagine that? Woo, I've got my, <laughs> got my camera mounted. And yes, they do say that there is no vignetting from the addition of the aluminum housing, as you might expect, because I'm not covering over the front element. Okay, yeah, so it seems interesting, but not really for me. I don't really see a use for it because uh, you know, when I get to the price, you'll realize because if you do damage your RF 16mm or your RF 50mm for the price of the GDU, you can just trash that one and go out and get another one. Okay, so to the prices. All right, let's not muck around. It's basically twice the price. It's basically twice the price for the RF 16mm f2.8, and it's basically twice the price for the RF 50mm f1.8. You're paying two times the price for the aluminum housing to make a more robust, hard wearing, and frankly, cool looking lens. But, is that worth it? It might be worth it to you, it might be worth it to the person next to you, but to me, it's not worth it. I don't see a use for them myself, and if I do bust my RF 16mm or my RF 50mm, I'll just trash them and get new ones. I mean, the thing is, I'm more than likely gonna damage the lens elements with scratches or scuffs or something like that. I mean, the RF lenses, those mid-range lenses, aren't the best in terms of their build quality, but they're okay. 
they're okay. Anyway, this was just to see if you had heard of GDU or Global Dynamics United and see the interesting things they're doing with the RF lenses, particularly the 16mm f2.8 and the 50mm f1.8. If this could be something that you're interested in, please let me know below because I'd be keen to hear it. It doesn't really interest me apart from being interesting but it might interest you and that's the key thing. Let me know. Thank you so much for watching. Have an awesome day and we're gonna catch you next time. Bye.